No matter what the pandemic handed us last year, we never took our eyes off of the safety and security aspect of our students and staff. As a matter of fact, goal five of our strategic plan includes strategies that strengthen our security procedures and infrastructure, as well as ones that focus on our students' social and emotional learning to include equity for all children, regardless of socioeconomic status. Research shows that creating a positive school climate can help districts, schools, teachers meet key goals, including boosting student achievement and closing the achievement gap. And to include increasing high school graduation rates, decreasing teacher turnover, and increasing teacher satisfaction. But the best part is it can actually turn around low performing schools. Comprehensive work is underway across the district on fencing improvements, camera upgrades, lock installations, and measures to further secure our school campus grounds to include our lobby entrance areas. Annually, every Osceola school completes the Florida Safe Schools Assessment Tool, which is a risk assessment which addresses and identifies emergency and crisis preparedness, security, school police staffing, and other operational practices. When threats by students present themselves, all schools are utilizing a behavioral threat assessment instrument, which addresses early identification, evaluation, early intervention, and student support. I created a school SRO Citizens Advisory Task Force that met throughout the last school year to review the district's SRO program and make recommendations to the school board on the role of an SRO on campus, which included reporting of student interactions, SRO training requirements, diversity of the workforce, and other important topics, such as the actual SRO given classes inside of the classroom. We are extremely fortunate to have the support and partnership of all three law enforcement agencies to include the Sheriff's Office, the Kissimmee Police Department, and the St. Cloud Police Department. The pandemic has certainly impacted the social and emotional health of our children who no longer have access to many of the protective factors that come with attending school in person, such as access to in-school counselors, teachers who can watch for signs of potential distress, and the chance to interact with peers face to face. To better support our students' mental health, a number of different strategies have been put into place, including, but not limited to, social and emotional learning and mental health awareness has been integrated into the curriculum for all core academics. Home visits are being conducted for students who did not enroll or engage regularly throughout the last school year. Letters and text messages are also being sent out to the parents of those students who have chronic absences or truancy issues. All district employees are now required to take mental health training on how to best support our students. And over 12,000 middle school students and teachers receive suicide prevention information, training, and resources just this last school year alone. To conclude, a safe learning environment is essential for students of all ages. The Osceola County School Board believes that promoting school safety is critical to support the academic success of each child and creates an open space for kids to explore, learn, and grow, which at the end of the day is gonna help them reach the highest potential. Thank you, and I appreciate your students moving forward. Hi, my name is Joanna Santiago. I am the principal at Asiola High School. Here at Osceola High School, we made sure that our students and our teachers felt safe during our COVID pandemic. It was a transition for all our schools, but here at OHS, we made sure that we maintained communication with our parents, our teachers, and our families. We had a lot of digital students that were more comfortable learning from home. Therefore, our school counselors and our social worker made phone calls on a weekly basis. In addition to that, our school deans were very supportive in calling them and just doing our weekly check-ins. We have a Wednesday lasso intervention period every day throughout that day. And our students also got the opportunity to talk about you know, what their stresses were, 
about what they were uncomfortable with and how they could be able to make sure that they put actions and systems in place through the help of their teachers, through the help of our deans and school counselors. So they were always granted the opportunity to talk. In addition to our teachers, school counselors, and school deans, we also had our wonderful resource officers. They are very supportive of our kids. They are always visible on our school campus. They worked really hard in developing relationships with the kids. Uh, the kids were very comfortable with our school resource officers. Uh, they were continuously out in the halls, during the cafeteria, out in the student parking lot, welcoming our parents. They're just phenomenal in making sure that their presence is one of support and encouragement.